Behavior has recently made a slew of massive buffs when it comes to the knight. In terms of his guards, the killer himself, and the summoning orb, Behavior is trying to make the knight stronger. I'm going to try to make the most out of these buffs with double assassin and a bigger detection range of four meters and i'm going to kind of cover the impact that these changes may have when it comes to the new and improved knight all right so on dead dog saloon we'll be trying out the new and improved knight ability trying to make the most out of all the guards starting out with the carnifex double assassin and then the jailer if i make longer patrol lines we may be able to get some hunts off we'll see i don't know though At least we got the guy in the building. So that was a max line. Um, on the main servers, the Carnifex is usually the one that gets the hunts off the most uh, frequently. We get my little hit. And that is not only because the Carnifex has a 24 second patrol duration. Let me see if we can get main building again. That'd be really nice. That'd be really nice. Yeah, we got Michaela. So, this is what I'm hoping. The assassin moves at 110 movement speed, the fastest guard um, in Dead by Daylight. And by having a bigger patrol line, the assassin theoretically hunts 25% faster. Michaela did not get hit. So, I'm kind of wondering, hmm, maybe the guards 100% like are not designed to get a, a hit every single time. Even with the buffs, I feel like the developers are very adamant about making sure that the knight and and the guards must be present if you want to get a guaranteed hit. Even though that one was a nice hit. It's <laughs> quite nice. Get him, get him Jeller. Get her? Oh, I hope. I hope, my dude. I can only hope. No. So the Jailer and the Carnifex move at 107% movement speed, which is, I think, three lower than the Assassin. It seems like even though the Knight got, like, a couple buffs, it's not always going to um, just guarantee the hits, like I said before. So the counters to the knight include going through windows and pallets to slow down the guards with obstacles, just holding W and getting the flag. Uh, I'm running an all out chase build with superior anatomy and such because I wanted to just see it go all out with a chase style knight. I wanted to see something quite different. So when it comes down to the technicalities of the changes, if you make a patrol line greater than 10 meters, the guards will hunt at 10% faster. I'm guessing they move 10% faster. And when you make a line that's 32 meters, the maximum, the guards travel 25% faster. That's in the technicals. There's also this other thing where if you make a line bigger than 10 meters, the orb completely disappears. So this survivor doesn't see where you're placing your guard down. Let me get this guy back. And uh, there's also another buff. Uh, there's a lot of buffs, I'm sorry. This is a little overwhelming. Where if you make a line bigger than 10 meters, then the knight gets a haste effect. 10 meters is two seconds of haste. And 32 meters is 6 seconds of haste. This is to compensate for the time it took to... Oh my god. Having... Having... I'm assuming what Behavior wanted to do is to make the knight really... Like, just like a lot better at chases in terms of utilization of guards and such. The current meta on the live servers revolve around Eruption and Colibrain, a gen kick meta that I've made a couple videos about that people have often said is kind of boring, a little bit annoying. I don't know if Behavior's going to do anything about this. Um, but what I'm assuming is that the developers are trying to incentivize players to chase survivors, do the thing that makes Dead by Daylight more fun, cultivate an environment that is representative of everything that's funny about the night. 
which is pretty, which is a good way to go, obviously. Does it accomplish that goal? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> this is why I'm kind of doing these test runs here. The best way is to always place the guard in front of the survivor. It seems like she got enough distance in front of me, so we weren't able to get that off. They're getting the gens done quite quickly, and that's due to the fact of prove thyself, maybe toolboxes, maybe just overall just doing gens normally. Obviously, the developers want to make the knights a little bit stronger, and I, I'm kind of curious if the knights or the knight actually needs a little bit more of a buff. I don't know. You call me crazy, but in a world where you take out eruption, call Brian, like gen slowdown. The knight really does struggle. The strengths with the knight come a lot from leaving his guards at objectives and essentially guarding things like camping hooks, etc. They are guards. That's a max line. 107, get moving 25% faster. Does he get the hit off? How it slows him down? He does not get the hit off. That's crazy how reliable. I was thinking we could probably get the, the Dwight. Use the guard to zone. Okay. Let's head on to the gen to the side here. Maybe we could catch teammate off guard. Go. Maybe we can hit Nia. Pray. Oh, hallelujah. The four extra meters actually came in handy. But they've gotten three gens done. And there's also a gen on 99. Basically, there's one gen left. We even a summon to the assassin to get um to try to get a hit. Wow, so we're still behind. The like, coconut! The reason why you're not doing well is because you're not running gen slowdown. Yeah, the, the point is I just wanted to see when running the new buffs for the knight, I wanted to see how viable the knight was without needing to rely on gen slowdown perks. Okay. Now, this thing I'm about to do right here, I'm like, oh, this gen's almost done. I'm just going to insta-drop one of my uh, guards. This is what people do on the, on the live servers. And what I'm thinking is that behavior want people to do less and less. I'll just insta-drop the guard. Guard a three gen setup to try to get a playoff, you know, and try to incentivize a more KC style that's more proactive. As it stands right now, the guards still do excel at this. I don't think they need a nerf. Oh, you messed up. <laughs> it's just. I'm wondering. If uh, the current changes are, are enough. But I'm taking this all within the uh, the scope of behavior wanting to make the, the knight a wee bit stronger and possibly changing the play style of the knight. Does it accomplish this task? Hmm. You can still. Maybe this is something to make um, night players have an easier time at mid and low MMR. Maybe this is something to do with like going against like really good players and they're just always able to make sure the, the guards can never down them. Possibly something like that. I don't know. We may get... Oh! The assassin actually got the hit off. Not surprising. I wasn't expecting that. But maybe maybe the the, the developers didn't want the, the knight to be designed to be too, too strong. Because 
the knight essentially is two killers in the match at the same time. I, I hate to make this where we got like a three men out. But I think I want to show something that's very realistic. A lot about how the knight is played on the live servers are very similar to how the knight is played on the PTB. It's very easy to outrun the guards, use the guards to zone the survivors, and a buff is good for the knight. I'm not really sure 100% if what the goal is, if the developers just over want to make the knight a little bit stronger. Yeah, this is definitely a good set of changes. I, I've come to the conclusion maybe they're trying to incentivize players to chase more and use the guards more with the knight. If the developers want people camping a lot less and holding down three gens less, I don't think these set of changes were to do it. I just wanted to cover that the set of changes that are currently in the PTB would lead to a strong correlation of the knight pl being played similarly to how it is being played right now. And if we want the knight excelling at being really good at guarding stuff, that's fine. It's just that it feels like these changes make the knight just feel slightly stronger so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next one peace guys